everybody and welcome back to my channel. So recently I was requested to react to viral ballet TikToks and obviously I had to do it because I love TikTok. Like I spend so much time on TikTok. I'm not that great at um, posting TikToks. I don't know. I get kind of self-conscious about it because everyone has such good content on there. But I did gather some uh, a mix of ballet TikToks where they're actually doing ballet, where they kind of make jokes about the ballet life, and then just like kind of behind the scenes of ballet. So I'm gonna go through all of that now, and I will be um, putting all the names of the creators down below. I'm not quite sure how to link them all. I'll try my best, but I will be giving all of them credit because this is all their hard work and content. So. Let's get started. I'm going to start my screen recording and I'll pause like in between to give my little commentary. But my disclaimer is I am not a professional ballet or dancer at all. I'm just a amateur. I'm an amateur in ballet. The most dance experience I have is in hula. That was about nine years. I've done some jazz and some hip hop, but I've started ballet on this channel, so that's like my medium on this channel, I guess you could say. But I'm going to try and interpret this the best that I can, but just take my um, comments with a grain of salt, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so the first video I have is by Alex D. Wong, and some of them I may have to mute the music because it is uh, copyrighted content. So let's get started. I love the person just singing in the background. <laughs> what a great video. Their extensions were so long and beautiful and graceful. Um, don't ask me the names of any of these moves. They not in my head. They do not exist in my head. But I know some of them, I will not be able to achieve that beautiful extension and just like their float for a very long time. Okay, next video is by American Ballet Theater. Oh my god! I have to watch that one more time. That was amazing. Again, again, again. Okay, well obviously everyone is super amazing because it's American Ballet Theater, but just the combination of all like the moves and the fierceness and the Huh, huh, uh, it, uh, it was amazing. I'm, I'm jealous. Straight up, I'm so jealous of them. They're so good. I know they've like trained for years and years to get to that level, but oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is Annie Lupin, and I've actually I've seen this video before. Some of these I have seen, some of them I haven't. But this video is so funny. So I have an uh, extensive history in theater, musical theater, and costume malfunctions. I am not new to it all. I, costume malfunction happen all the time. And this is probably what I would be like if I was in a stage production of ballet. So let's just watch it. Oh, her skirt. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the back of her dress. <laughs> I can't, I wouldn't be able to go on point either. <laughs> Is that Esmeralda? Oh! Oh, poor her. Lupin pink lemonade I would I I've had some really embarrassing moments in theater and I sometimes would really like to cry during the curtain call but so far I've been okay but I I totally relate to that because some of that was very embarrassing <laughs> I would cry so hard if I fell on my face during a dance performance 
I'm sure she's great. This is <laughs> next is Ashley No Sarah. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure which one she is, but I was a little bit bothered that they weren't pointing their toes. I know this was like a trend that like hit all of TikTok, so like it wasn't just specific to dancers. So I understand that they all wouldn't point their toes, but it kind of got to me. I'm like, point your toes, point your toes. <laughs> but it, I mean, like the probably the main joke of that was the guy in the back. I I I didn't find it funny, but. I get that other people would. <laughs> That's my comment. <laughs> Next is Charlene Lef Lefeva. I don't know if that's like just a fancy name or if that's actually her last name, but sorry if I butchered that. Charlene Lefeva. I've seen this one and I'm so jealous of all her tutus. I want a tutu. These are my ladies. This is Jill. This is my lady Amy, little Susie, Brianna. I love Susie. You know why we call her Brianna, right? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. Shut up. <laughs> Hell no. Miss <gasps> Kitty. Oh, Jeannie. My, my goodness. Teresa. This is Teresa right here. I love the black tutu. That's the only thing I kind of regret of not going to like a traditional studio is that I probably won't get like the anthracidal outfits or anything. Next is another Charlene Lefebvre, and she is doing a kind of the same concept, but she's talking about her tutus. I mean, not tutus, her leotards. <gasps> I love leotards. I have so many of them. Lots of them were hand-me-downs from my mom because she did ballet as well. But <sighs> I love leotards. And they're just such an easy option for, like, outfits because you don't have to worry about tucking in your clothes. It's like... A great thing to just go out I club in a lot of my leotards too just like put on some cute pants anyways let's see her beautiful black leotards I know a lot of studios say you have to have like a black leotard with your pink tights and I don't know like what regulations they have on their leotards or whatever but some people wear some amazing leotards to dance not in my uh, community college class but the ones I've seen on TikTok are oh, I wish I could afford them Let's watch. These are my ladies. This is Jill. This is my lady Amy. Mm -hmm. Little Susie. Brianna. You know why we call her Brianna, right? Velvet. Yeah, uh, it's a long story. Shaniqua. Helga. Ooh. Miss Kitty. Jeannie. I dream. <gasps> I of love Jeannie. Teresa. Gorgeous. This is Teresa right here. Now is Teresa, is that your dirty girl? <laughs> Throwing it in the hamper. Her videos are so great. <laughs> I love her makeup too. That cat eye is so dramatic. Oh man. Black leotards. You can't go wrong with black leotards. I love um, turtleneck leotards. I think those are so sleek and beautiful. But dancing in them. I feel like I'm dying if I dance in a turtleneck leotard. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have uh, A-Seed Studios, but my studio was not that A-Seed. It was hot in there. Or maybe I just sweat a whole bunch and I have a very high body temperature. I don't know. If you can tell, I'm kind of sweating in here now. <laughs> Next, Dion Walker. Look at... Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the fucking Supreme. <laughs> no, you're... One more time, one more time. Oh my god. Go again, 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 again. Bam. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? I'm the fucking Supreme. No, you I'd feel so threatened if there was somebody like that in my studio. I'm a very competitive person, and if I saw someone like that, I'd be like, must be better must be better. I mean, I would totally support them and be amazed by them, but I'd also like secretly be like, <laughs> wow, he's amazing. Goldie Jane. Crap. Oof. 
okay, my elbows don't crack like that. I do crack a lot like a ballerina, but that's from other problems. <laughs> but man, she could crack everything. My wrists kind of crack, but that's because I've broken them so many times. My ankles crack and my toes crack. My knees crack. My hips crack. Maybe I am almost on her level. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. I, I, I don't know. It seems really satisfying to crackle everything like that. Like cracking your knuckles. Whew. Next is another Goldie Jane. Okay, I love this video because... I think anyone in the arts can relate to this, so let's watch it first. Everyone's just getting ready. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> the girl in the bottom is joking on it. <laughs> Last call, everyone get into your spots. Curtain's going up soon. They're all like so excited. holding their breaths to go underneath the smoke. Oh man. So in theater, before the curtains go up or before the lights go on, that is like your hype up moment. And like everyone is just like talking, they're all casual, nobody's in character. It's like my favorite part about theater, honestly. It's like right before you get started. A lot of the times you're like really calm and you're like just chilling. Because I, I know everyone can relate to this, but performing for other people is really exhausting. Because, like, you're using so much of your own energy to, like, convey something to somebody else. And you, like, put so much of yourself in it so they understand what's going on. And, like, beforehand is, like, when you're getting ready to exude all of this energy. And, like, I've never done, like, a dance performance like this. But, like, for hula, we would always start off stage and then we'd, like, have to walk on. But, like, off stage we'd all be like... All like hyping each other up and like calming each other down it's like it's, beforehand there's such an air i love it so much i was like i ah i love the moment right before you perform if you know what i'm talking about you know like how un unexplainable that moment right before is and like it's it's just such a feel i don't it's like Okay, if you're not a performer, compare it to like the day before Christmas. Like you know it's about to happen, but it hasn't happened just yet. And like there's so much to anticipate. And like you don't know how the audience is gonna react. And it's a different reaction each time. So like you don't know what presents you're gonna get, but like you have an idea. Like maybe you've asked for something. So like, ah, uh, I, I, it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like just the best feeling in the world. It's like such an adrenaline rush, ah. Uh, I, if you could tell I'm like a performer, like I get such a high from this. <laughs> Next video is by Hardcorps Ballet. So I've never been on point shoes, so I find this video so interesting. Rating shoes that aren't point shoes as if they were point shoes. First we have Skechers sandals. The shank is fairly supportive and the Velcro is in the right place. The insole even wraps under the platform to give you a little bit of extra padding. <laughs> However, they have no box, so they kind of hurt. Four out of ten. No thanks. Next we have Dansko Orthopedic Clogs. These are actually really supportive with their hard shank and high veil. But the heels cut high and it's a little hard to get over the box. <laughs> 8 out of 10. Next up, Birkin Clogs. These are actually amazing. I love the shank box and vamp. However, a 3 quarter shank would be more okay. supportive and the box is kind of rounded. 9 out of 10. Doc Martens. These are really supportive through the front of the shoe and we love the aesthetic. However, I can't believe I'm saying this but the shank is too hard and too long. Five out of ten. Heels are found in the Halloween section of Goodwill for four ninety nine. These suck. The shank is pre arch, which makes point impossible. The platform is tiny and they're loud. Two out of ten. <laughs> Next we have cups, which are too small to fit on my man feet. However, they're stunning. They're gorgeous. She's serving banana. <laughs> so foot. I don't know what the shank is or uh, most of whatever she said, but I can't believe she was able to go on her toes and sandals. I can't. 
not do that. <laughs> I mean, okay, I wish she had tried Converse, because, like, before I ever did anything with ballet, I would always, like, go on my toes with Converse. That's how I, like, ruined so many of my shoes. Like, not just, like, on the balls of my feet, but, like, toes. Like, Michael Jackson, hee-hee, <laughs> toes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I I never really thought about, like, what all goes into being able to do point. Like, I know it's very hard and difficult and very damaging to your body but like i never really thought about like a shank the box the support on all of that but there's a lot that can to consider next is gel bell <laughs> so i'm not quite sure if that's ballet but it was tagged under ballet but her leg was all the way up here and she took off her her with with her she took off her hoodie with her leg what the heck Catelyn power okay the barbie movies are a masterpiece i've forgotten about them but like the swan lake one was like my jam and then all of a sudden they came back on tiktok and like Memories have come back to me. Let's see what she's done. So she's imitating. Oh. Ooh, that's hard. On grass too? What if there's a hole? Is she on point on grass? God. <laughs> wow. Okay, and you just, n I've never danced point before on hard ground. And she's doing it on grass, where it's all uneven, and like, you don't know what's going on in the grass. And she, she was able, she, she was able to go a point on grass and like keep, keep doing it. Oh, while imitate, and you don't know how many takes she did of that. Like, she got all the angles, she got all the perspectives. She, what if she messed up and she had to do it again? <gasps> she did so much for like a, a, fi a 60 second video. That, I wish I remembered how many likes she got, but that was, uh, that's insane. Amazing. Good job. Next is Sky Brandt. Ooh, ooh, I forget what these are called. I love them so much. I love anything with turns. Oh, it's gorgeous. One more time. Uno mas. Her shoulders are so open. I wonder how hard partner work is, cause like, obviously you have to be professional about it, especially if you're in like a studio, but I feel like it'd be kind of awkward. I don't know. I've never like danced a duet. I mean, I've danced like in groups with hula and stuff, but like never one-on-one. -on -one. And like, especially with ballet, there's a lot of support with your partner helping you and like the lifts and all that. It seems kind of nerve wracking. I don't know. But gosh, everyone is so strong and powerful. Ah, she's so great. Next is winking is my therapy. <laughs> That's her hand, winking is my therapy. And I think it's Grace Noel. A duet of two people and they're doing it in walking shoes, like Vans and Air Force Ones or Converse, I don't know. Let's see what they do. Oh, <gasps> my favorite song. <gasps> How did they spin on concrete? Have you seen that video of that little boy who was doing like his fuetes in uh, concrete barefoot in the rain. 
that like kind of reminds me of this. Obviously his was harder, but like I, I can't spin on my shoes. I can barely spin in my uh, ballet flats. Good for Grace and good for the other person. I couldn't find their handle because obviously it's Grace's duet. Wow. And I love that song. I love Studio Ghibli. And that's all I have. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out all the creators down below. I'll try and link them all. If not, I'll definitely have all their names included. Um, if there are any more uh, TikToks you want me to react to, please um, message them to me. I think they're, my TikTok DMs are open. I have my TikTok link down below. Um, I'm on TikTok all the time. I may not be posting, but I'm always on there. <laughs> uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Oh, and I'll have new ballet videos soon. I've started uh, going back to it because of my injury. I'm back on. Bye.